What's going on? Internet, Eric Banholtz here, founder of Beardbrain, and today I want to tell you the biggest mistakes that only fools will make. Okay, let's start with mistake number one, and it's one that this fool made this weekend, and it's picking your face. Yes, if you can look closely right here, I got a giant red mark. I just could not leave a zit alone. And in fact, you shouldn't really ever pick at your zits. There's no good reason. You should let them go through the course. They'll dry up, eventually flake off, and prevent yourself from getting pits and scars all up on your face. I should know because I'm one of the biggest fools when it comes to picking your face. And my nose, if you got real close to it, is just like landmine after landmine of scarred up and pitted faces. So focus on improving your skin through understanding the dynamics of acne, why acne happens, why zits happen, and learn treatments and remedies that may help with that process and not lead to a lifetime of scarage on your face. The second biggest mistake I see people make all the time are chasing style trends with no consideration as to themselves, what they look like, what their face shape is like, what their body type is like, what their hair type is like. Instead, they're like, mm, highlighted spiky hair is in, I'm gonna do it. Guy Fiero, that's my idol. Now you got to, it, it's okay to evolve your style and to try new styles. And it's one of the things that I've told you you should be doing as you continue to grow in age. But at the same time, you need to make sure that the style you're going after is something that actually can work for you. So you do your education, you find inspiration, you find people with similar face shapes, similar hair types, similar hair textures, and see, is it looking good on them? If it is, then go for it. Your style should evolve and that's okay. But just don't do it because everyone's going with the man bun or the top knot or, you know, the bowl cut or the spiky hair or whatever mullet is coming in the fashion again. You don't have to do it. Make sure you're educated. So the next mistake that I, I think all of us are guilty of, myself included, is overusing your product. Yeah, you go to any middle school or high school and you'll just smell like the Axe body spray everywhere. You guys grew up with it. You know what I'm talking about. You know, one spray of cologne, two spray of colognes. That's cool. But if you need to cover up your stink that much, then hop in the shower, do yourself a favor, wash yourself. Might I add, wash yourself with some utility bar. Get rid of that stink and smell good. You don't have to spray yourself up with cologne galore. You don't have to grab like gobs of styling product and put it in your hair or use hairspray up and down to lock in that part. Calm down with the products. The key is to use the least amount of products possible to achieve the look that you're going for. You can always add more, but when you try to take away product, you essentially have to go back to ground zero. Like to get rid of all that Axe body spray, you gotta hop back in the shower. To get rid of like your head full of hairspray and gunk, you gotta wash that hair again. Less is more when it comes to using products. Don't be a fool and overuse that stuff. Now here's the thing, the final mistake, the granddaddy of them all. You are a fool because you're not educated, right? Because you haven't taken the time to learn, to understand, to invest in yourself. That's mistake number four. Not educating yourself. I mean, that, that by definition, your ignorance is causing you to be a fool. You need to learn, you need to study, you need to educate. You're worth it, I guarantee it. You are worth that investment. And once you do take risk with purpose, based on information, based on your education, you'll see that you grow so much more. You'll see that you'll climb, your style gets better, your hair looks better, your grooming, team look, <laughs> your grooming routines look better, your skin looks better, 
It's all possible. Trust me, the information is out there. It's 2018, guys. There is a blog article for everything. Beard Brand, of course, has tons of blog, blog articles on how to take care of your beard, how to take care of your hair, how to take care of your skin, how not to be like me and pick the heck out of your face. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.